Are you guys tired of reading and generating AI content that sounds extremely robotic and you know for sure ChatGPT wrote it? Well guys, in this video, I'm not only gonna quickly show you the most common words used by ChatGPT, but more importantly, I'm going to show you how you can avoid using any of these common words in any of your AI outputs in the future. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Ryan with AI Insider Tips, and my number one goal here is to help you guys navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. So if you could quickly subscribe and like this video, I would greatly appreciate that. So now let's get back to showing you how to avoid using these common words in your AI outputs going forward. So first things first, I'm on this article from plusdocs.com and they ran this study, it published July 23rd, 2024. So very recent, only two weeks old, but they ran all sorts of tests and they did all sorts of models here trying to figure out what are the most used words and phrases that ChatGPT produces. And here are the top, it looks like top 10 that they found. Delve, Tapestry, Vibrant, Landscape, Realm, Embark, Excels, Vital, comprehensive, intricate, pivotal, moreover, arguably, and notably. So if you read any content that frequently uses these words, you can almost guarantee it's generated by ChatGPT. They also talk about some of these used phrases, dive into, it's important to know, important to consider. This is my favorite one, delving into the intricacies of, right? Very complex phrase in my opinion. So if you read any content that uses these phrases or these words, you could probably bet that it was generated by ChatGPT. So I just wanna show you guys first some of these comments commonly use words and phrases. So now you're probably thinking, well, Ryan, how do I remove these commonly used words and phrases? So my outputs on ChatGPT or Claude don't sound robotic and they sound like it was written from a human. So what you can do is you can use a custom GPT to accomplish this. Now, unfortunately, you have to be a member of ChatGPT Plus in order to access custom GPTs, but you can also do a very long prompt if you're not using a custom GPT. So if I go into the GPT, I'm gonna give you the secret sauce here. What I did in my custom instructions is I specifically gave it the following instruction. Do not use the following words or phrases in any output. Dell, Vibrant, Landscape, Realm, Embark, Excels. So I literally went in here and just copy and pasted this, put it into my custom instructions for my custom GPT so it no longer uses these words. And guys, over time, as there are more words that people are finding that ChatGPT and all the other GPT models and Claude models are producing, I'm just gonna simply come into my custom instructions and add these words and phrases as I see them come along. Uh, so that is the first way for using ChatGPT is to use a custom GPT. And again, if you're not on ChatGPT Plus and you can't access custom GPTs, you can simply copy and paste, paste a long prompt that looks like this in just one chat. So if I go to ChatGPT, new chat, paste this prompt here. And guys, I'll actually leave this in the video description below. For those of you who don't have ChatGPT Plus and can't use custom GPTs, uh, unfortunately, you have to use a long prompt like this in order to get the best output. But that is how you would do it without using a custom GPT. Now, the same is to be said for Claude projects. So you have to be a member of Claude Pro to access projects inside Claude. But if I come into one of my projects here and click Edit Custom Instructions, you'll see here I did the exact same thing. Do not use the following words or phrases in any of your outputs. So long story short, guys, it's going into these custom instructions of these AI tools, like a custom GPT, like a Claude project, and essentially telling these AI tools to avoid using these words at all costs in every single output. And they will listen as long as you have the details and the words and phrases outlined in the instructions. Now you can also use an AI tool like Cuppa to do this. They have what are called custom presets. So you can come in here, create a custom preset, tell it all the different words and phrases you don't wanna use. I actually like this. So you can go to content manipulation up here if you have an account. You can actually give it phrases or words and have it replace it with what sounds like you. So a very interesting feature here offered by Cuppa. Uh, this tool costs about $13 a month, I believe. They have a free trial. Uh, it's an all-in-one content tool. Guys, I'm going to make a full review on Cuppa in the near future for more details on this. Uh, but you can find a link below if you're interested. 
So again, this is Ryan with AIinsiderTips.com. I really appreciate you all if you've made it this far. I hope this video not only showed you the most common words and phrases used by ChatGPT that you should avoid, but also more importantly, how you can input these in your custom instructions, whether it's a custom GPT, a Claude project, a long prompt, or using a tool like Cuppa to make sure that your outputs and your prompts are as high quality as possible so your content doesn't sound robotic. So again, guys, be sure to subscribe subscribe to my channel if you haven't already like this video uh, but leave me a comment below too right are there any other words or phrases that I'm missing that you guys see all the time are there any methods that I'm forgetting about really want to hear your guys' thoughts in the comment section below so with that all being said I hope you all have a great day